Tammy Webster with Bull Riding Rodeo Connection. I'm here at the Stephenville PRCA Rodeo, and I'm talking to rodeo announcer Mike Mathis. Mike, you've got a great honor this year being inducted to the Hall of Fame. Why don't you tell us a little about that and how exciting that is? You know, it really was. First of all, it was a shock <laughs> just to be nominated, but it was a great honor. Uh, amazingly, uh, some folks did a very special thing, and so with that, I'm, I'm very proud, very deeply honored even to be mentioned with a part of that. Well, tell us a little bit about your history. How long have you been in rodeo and what got you started? Oh, I've been doing this for, uh, announcing hard for more than 25 years. And with that, uh, of course, I, I rode bulls and bareback horses back in college and high school. Not very well. <laughs> If I had of things might be a little different, but it showed me that uh, we weren't going to make a lot of money doing that. So we've been we've been uh, right here, you know, talking, being a part of rodeo, do about 40 plus a year across the U.S. Really lucky to be that busy, and so it's a lot of fun, a lot of travel, a lot of places, a lot of great stops like Stephenville. Now I know a lot of announcers are in the stand, but you're on a horse here. Do you do that at every rodeo? You know, I do it at probably 80 percent of mine. Let you re interact, of course, with the with the clown. Let you be a part of the rodeo, work with the crowd. They uh, kind of up to the committee, whichever way they like it. Uh, I enjoy it. Put you up close to the action. You kind of see it and say it and have a good time doing it. Oh, great. Well, what are some of the um, highlights as far as some of your favorite rodeos you've been announcing? Oh, of course. You know, wherever you are and you're getting a check, that has to be your favorite one right then. But you know, I'm lucky enough to get to go to some really great rodeos. This is one of them attracts such good cowboys the committee here are totally amazing uh they make things happen so we're very proud of you know getting to come to good ones like this but across the country i enjoy my trips up in utah in july very special rodeo country there uh and there's a, a number of these rodeos throughout the year from silver city new mexico to, i guess i have to say my own hometown rodeo in lufkin it's nice to nice to be home at least one week a year so lucky to go to some very unique and special rodeos well that's great well you don't have any plans to retire anytime soon do you no ma'am i can't got to keep working got to keep the wolf <laughs> whipped away from the door but yes ma'am we're we're having too much fun getting to enjoy this and i'm one of those lucky people who truly get to do what you love well, that's great. Well, we enjoyed listening to you, and we don't want you to retire anytime soon. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we're, we're going to do exactly that.